two guests to trivia contest. Susan! <laughs> Susan, you've proven that you are a true super fan. How does it feel to be in the Jew kitchen? It's the strangest, most wonderful day of my life. Really? <laughs> it's so cool. It's like magically delicious. It really is, truly. So truly. you have four kids? I do. Do they cook with you? Um, I have an 11-year-old who is a big cook. The rest just like what comes out of the kitchen, you know? Ooh, but that's she, good. She made brownies the other morning. I was laying in bed, and my husband, I kept saying, do you smell chocolate? He's like, no, you're nuts. I said, I smell chocolate. And she showed up with brownies, and I said, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I get two, you get none. You didn't smell That's it. That's it, right. exactly. <laughs> so you guys cook a lot. I mean, you're the you're the fundamental cook. You have the daughter who helps. Yep. What are your favorite dishes? Do you have anything that you love from, say, one of the two oh, cooks? Well, well I, I've been known to watch the show. Yes. Um, I made Daphne's popovers once, which was so scary because popovers are, you oh, know, well, scary. They, they, they came out amazing. Oh, look at how beautiful. Yeah, look, and I did it. I'm so glad about myself. So and I've done um, Michael's cactus pea soup. Because I'm not a fan of pea soup, but the way he makes it with the chunks of meat, oh, I'm all about it. It's really I'm all about it's it. It's meat so. suspended in a yes. little bit of pea soup. And that's what I'm all about. Yeah. How about crafting? Do you craft? Um, I do. All um, right. Stay-at-home mom. I'm a PTO chick and class mom. So I've done um, Clinton's really pretty hurricane lamps that he did with the sand one time. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't mess around. You all are my best friends. You don't know yet. So you live in the magnificent Garden State. I do. In the fabulous town of Jackson. I do. Which is just south of New Brunswick. Correct. Home to both Rutgers. Yes. My alma mater. And my first big break in the food business, stuff your face. Excellent. <laughs> have you ever been? I have. I'm going to have to get there now. I, I beseech you to go. Can you call me at a table? Or I can you? right now. <laughs> Savory table, everybody over there in New Brunswick. All right, so you ready to make a dish with me? Let's do it. All right, well, so we're going to make... We're going to make a dish that in, in Roman cooking is called spaghetti alla concha. Okay, okay. But it has nothing to do with a conch shell or anything like that. Good. It's just the way that they used to preserve zucchini by frying it and then soaking it in vinegar. All right. We're going to make it kind of quick, so we're going to take zucchini. Yes. Summer squash. Got it. I'm you got one there? Yeah. Are you familiar with this? The mandolin? Yes. Yes, you and your fingers stay over there, and I'll stay over here. <laughs> Very wise. All right, so what? Oh, wow, this is like man versus <laughs> zucchini. <laughs> But this is how you have to do it sometimes. You have to learn. All right, so you got them. All right, so we got them like this. Yes. Dumped them onto this little tray. And in one of the very few instances when I actually salt the vegetables in advance, this is a case that you want to do it because if you want them to fry up nice and crisp, you have to get some of that liquid out. So what you do is you sprinkle liberally. Even beyond the Michael Simon level of salt. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of salt. But what's going to happen is after you let them sit for about a half hour, they will start to sweat. And almost all of that salt rinses off. Oh, so this is what it happens. Plant, right? Well, I don't do it that often, like you but you would. Plant, right, right. If you're going to fry eggplant and you like the more leathery texture, okay. you salt it because it gets rid of some of that water, okay. which would, if you didn't salt it, stay inside That's and stay kind of creamy, That's which right. I kind of like. So yeah. it depends on what you're going to do. Okay. If you're doing it old style New Jersey Italians mm -hmm. from Jackson or from Belleville, right. then you do it like that. Right, okay. So now you've taken them off and then you rub them with the, the paper towels. Okay. And then we're going to drop them in here. Now, this is hot extra virgin olive oil. You got it? So we just throw it in like so. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Hold on, man. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's, it's hot. hot. It's working. Don't let it deceive you. So here, you're going to help Okay. Me. We're going to throw them in one by one because we want them to fry up almost like a potato chip. Oh, okay. They're not going to be so crisp by the time we eat them. Okay. But they will have the memory of having okay. once been crisp. Right. And what that means is that you realize the caramelization or the Maillard effect, which gives it an entirely different flavor. Yes. Plain zucchini is often not loved by too many people because, in fact, it's kind of flat and kind of boring. But if you introduce a little crispness to it and that kind of turns a deep, dark, golden brown, nice. suddenly... You're at Michael Simon's house having chips and beer. <laughs> now, Mario, real quick, like, if, if you wanted to make um, crispy longer, you could put a little bit of rice flour or cornstarch on there, and they, they'd hold a little bit of crust. Absolutely. Out. I would use cornstarch more than rice yeah. flour, just because I don't think a lot of people have rice flour. But yes, that'll give it a little bit more of a crust, a little bit more of a half, but it will also increase uh, the calorie content. Right. So you want to kind of back that down. So now what we've got is we're frying these beautiful zucchini. Okay. We're going to take... Our water. I'm going to season it to the level of the ocean. You are yeah. spectacular, Susan. 
So I'm going to take the spaghetti. Keep in mind, always read the package instructions. Cook it to one minute less than what the package instructions say. Take it out. We'll toss it this off. We're going to go like this. We're going to continue frying up a zucchini. When we come back, we'll show everybody that you know how to make this dish better than me. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a big announcement that you don't want to miss. This week, you can't afford to miss.